And hello everybody, and welcome back to more Secret World. Um, so last we left off, we got to this camp. And... We were... Oh, what did we do? We grabbed a badge from some guys. We got to deliver it to Bannerman down there. Um, we could pick up a story quest. You know what? I'm gonna run down there, hand that into her, and then run back up here. Because... We definitely need to basically stick to this area up here, so I just want to get this out of the way. Not have to worry about it. Run past all these zombies. Ignore them. It's kind of a this uploading to YouTube thing with my let's play of this is giving me a really good perspective on how long it really did take me to you know, complete all of this area of Kingsmith and move on to the next spot. Which again is probably going to take... There's a lot of content in this game. I guess it's just the one I first played through it, I was just like skipping through and just going, you know, balls to the wall with it. And that's really not what you want to do, I think, with MMOs nowadays. I mean, a lot of people do just want to rush to the, to the max level and do the content. And while that's cool, like if that's if that's the way you like to play, then go for it. But that's new. There we go. Should click on her. There we go. Seems like the game is still loading its uh, what should we call it? Resources and all that. Oh, we got an SP and, and an AP for that. Nice. Um, I said I was going to buy things like uh, like talismans for this, but it looks like we need at least... So we need to level up our talismans up one. So we're going to do... We're going to do major because it gives us health. I have more health and it, uh, it'll allow us to buy some of these. So we're going to right click on you again. So we want to look for, I think the rings are the attack rating one? Yeah, look at all that attack rating. The knots are health. And then there is a band, which is healing, heal rating. Okay. Let's see. Fierce is penetration and crit rating. Attuned is physical protection, magical protection. That looks like, that looks like those are the only glyphs. So I'm kind of debating, because I lose 106 health with that, but I gain double, just over double in attack rating, which would mean I do a lot more damage. But I could also die a lot quicker. Hmm. Um, my weapons, my shotgun actually isn't as good. This actually might be what I pick up, even though we spent all that money. Because I could pick this up and put a glyph into it, and it would be better. That would be 40. Then for the glyph is 10. So we're going to wait until we get 50 at least to really buy anything there. Um, and I don't know if you guys noticed in the comments of the video, of the first video, that the bonus 1200 points popped up, but I did check. And it looks like it does not actually add them. That just is just like congratulations, you've completed 50 missions, Ray. So that's all that is about. So we don't have to worry about that. So yeah, let's move up to the morning light camp now. I believe this was morning light, or something like that. Uh, try and avoid these zombies as much as possible. Oops, turn off sprint. Make our way through here. Eventually, once we get, once I feel confident in our gear, we're gonna be doing a place called Polaris. It's the first like dungeon of this place. It's pretty cool. Um, I'll probably upload that experience as one whole video. So like, I'll stop the episode before I enter, and then I'll start it again, like start recording again, and just like upload that whole segment. 
I think that would be the best idea. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take this one from him. Rolls downhill. Normal. A courier must make a speedy delivery of an important message, but many dangers lurk outside the safety of the camp. Tier one. A courier was a courier was sent with a package for a person only referred to as B. It seemed very important and even more urgent. He can't have gotten far. Follow him. Following him would be easy. Bring this to the rendezvous point and get the hell back to Dodge. Don't stop for red lights, don't stop for a smoke, don't stop for a piss. Comprende, amigo? Wait, wait! What the fuck? Wait! We're not done, amigo! Listen, don't fuck this up. Focus. Focus! Lead this circle, and you gotta watch your back. Plenty of creepy crawlers out there, no voodoo to keep you safe. But this is what you signed up for, right? There's more to the morning light than clean living, handing out flyers on the subway and trying to get vertical with Miss Dreadlocks from orientation week. We're harbingers of change, dude. We're prophets of mutation. We're disciples of doom. But change won't happen unless we up and act. Sure, Rome wasn't built in a single day, but it sure as hell wasn't built by deadbeat procrastinators lazing around on their asses, smoking weed, either. Just... Get it done. Bees on me 24-7, dude. That's how this thing works. Shit rolls downhill. And the boss has made it pretty clear this is important, and it's gotta be taken care of now, not later. Not when you feel like it. Toot fucking sweet. Comprende? Everybody's gotta pull their fucking weight, dude. Anybody else is just dead weight. Damn, he's just raging on that guy, and that dude seems like so eager to do his job. Oh man, uh, Brooklyn, I see playing. Pick this up as well. Bringing sexy back. I doubt it. Uh, there's a note in the RC plane. Hi, skater boy. Found this buzzing around my tent again. Can't you stop dreaming about me? I guess your little boy blood must be boiling so hard. Uh, if it's not, it will be when you see these XOXO Cassie. Dear one, Danny's one of the last living boys in Kingsmith, and not even the apocalypse can curb his natural curiosity and mischief. He's sure to want his plane back, especially given that Cassandra King is a very accommodating young woman. She's giving him nudes. But we're gonna go this way first. Catch up to that courier. Because the plane is all over here. That's where I gotta go with it. Uh oh. And he's dead. Like, super dead. Fuck me. What the fuck was that thing? That was a Wendigo, Jesus yo. Jesus Christ, man, I'm shaking like a fucking leaf. Yeah, you done goofed, buddy. You done goofed. He told you to be careful, and you didn't. You just. You just ran. You got your ass bit. Don't worry, I got this. Uh, I got this for you. Zap the living hell out of this guy. Oh, he stunned me. Come on. Boom. The package at there it is. Scoop that up. Turn it to the courier. Can do. This blood is everywhere. That Wendigo must have made a huge mess of this dude's leg, which makes me wonder how he's alive. That's awesome, man. Jesus Christ, I figured I was done for. Uh, you mind making deliveries? Yeah, whatever, dude. Yeah, whatever. Oh, that's text. That was a pretty quick one, wasn't it? One may have been tempted to peek inside the morning light package, but clearly you are seeing the long game. 
I dare say, I'm rubbing off on you. We shall learn more about the morning light by infiltrating them than by ripping open their mail. That sort of tactic attracts unwelcome attention. We're not sure of their angle yet, but spiritual goodwill isn't it. We have nothing incriminating on their savior, Philip Marquard. But his local leader, Shay, has a long list of infractions. Theft, assault, smuggling. However, our real interest is the one they call B. Oh yeah, don't say. Um, 